Okay, so I'm going to show you a new technique today. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but I've showed this to a lot of people and it's kind of new for most of them. And it's been uh, lately I've been using this and it is, it, it is one of the best techniques I have learned. So I call it paintbrush technique and it is used for color packing and also you can say blending n not exactly blending as such not a uh, you can't do a large blending as such but yeah if you want to blend from one color to another on a you know a shorter uh, like you know span like it's, it's a short gradient you can use this but the best technique to do color packing and uh, one of the fastest color packing technique I know, right? So I'm, I'm going to show it to you because I'm going to use this a lot in my tattoo and that's why I thought of making this, you know, specially dedicated session on this one. Uh, also, I'll talk about the Sol Nova and the techniques which I'm going to use in terms of, you know, uh, how fast or slow I'm going to run and what exactly I do in terms of uh, uh, tweaking the machine or you know changing the configuration for different uh, textures I need so let me show you what exactly is the stroke length now stroke length is all right, I'm going to show you maybe like this so this needle right now is in the rest position and it is quite inside right quite um, the space to uh, yeah the needle is quite inside in the tube right and if I turn on the machine so I'm gonna show you a new technique which I've been working on maybe from last uh, a year or so and I found this technique one of the best techniques to do color packing work you can also blend the color but not the large blending as such but like if you're working on a you know small area and you want to blend it definitely this this works really well and i'm going to use this technique a lot in this tattoo this this might be a new for you 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 may have i mean there are few artists who, who use this technique you you might have you know seen it but i'm going to go in into details of it i call it paintbrush technique and to be precise paintbrush color packing technique and this is one of the fastest way to color pack the area while uh, having the least amount of skin damage and the heal results are amazing I mean the way this this technique color packs really good so I'm going to talk about it in detail because I think this is one of the most uh, important part of this uh, webinar now with this technique I'm also going to talk about the machine I'm going to use and um, about the stroke length and you know various configuration I use for different kind of uh, uh, textures when I'm working on a tattoo so let's get into it first I want to show how much needle is inside the tip when it is in the rest position right so can you see the amount of needle now if I turn on the machine that's the amount of needle coming off the tube now from its rest position to the maximum you know length coming off uh, it's called stroke length and so that's the stroke length and this is around 3.5 mm mostly 3.5 mm uh, uh, stroke length machine and uh, I cannot change the stroke length in this machine the only thing I can play with is needle depth so I can decide how much needle comes off the tube still having the same stroke length so I can just move my needle out now can you see and if I turn it on I have more needle coming off the tube to penetrate the skin so I'm going to play with this part or this attribute of the machine the needle depth and I'm going to play with uh, the needle 
or rather machine speed I'm, 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 I'm going to use certain combination of you know machine speed and needle depth for certain thing and the other ones for the other one so let's start with the first technique I hope you saw it right so let me set up the machine for the paint brush technique which I'm talking about so this is a long stroke machine anyway long stroke machine is good for color packing and this machine doesn't have any give so whatever give you're gonna need is is through your hand pressure how hard you hold the machine or how loose you hold the machine based on that it will have that you know effect of you know it will give the give to the, the the punch of the needle but this one doesn't have any give in itself and it's a very steady you know hard punching machine all right so i think this is what i'm going to use for the paint brush color packing technique this is the maximum it is coming off the tube and this is how much it is inside it is very important that it spends more time inside the tube because it's going to carry a lot of ink for you if it is coming you know in the tube and then going out it will carry more color and that is what you need for color packing also a little dilute ink is better always so i use eternal inks and i, I find them the best there are a few inks which are a little thicker you just have to add a little distilled water sterile water and dilute it it doesn't affect the concentration of the color and uh, yeah so that's about it let's start with the technique now uh, the speed i'm gonna run this on 90 hertz basically i start with slow machine so let's start with slow machine I'm going to keep it on uh, 60, 60 hertz and let's do our first stroke. So I have enough black in it and I'm going to check this out. How this, check my hand motion, check the way I, um, how angle, angled my machine is and how do I do the color packing? Mostly you have seen that people do this or maybe this, but this is different. What you do is you carefully put the needle inside the skin and then, then drag slowly. But because of the machine is slow and your hand is a little loose, it gets a little give, but it will not create much or it will not do much damage onto the skin this you have to be very careful while doing this if the needle is too much out you're gonna tear up the skin so this is the advanced level technique this is not a basic technique so try things out on you know artificial skin before actually doing it on the real one so let's do this so I'm gonna use a corner of the I'm going to use the corner of the needle to start and then I'm going to push it inside and pull it and then whip it out and you got to go slow can you see how much ink went inside in just one stroke I'm going to take it again so I had the machine little slanted right I'm going to keep the face all open now and I'm going to pull it down again just to show you how it works. It's a paintbrush color packing technique so the, the reason being it works really well with the magnums and I'm using magnum like a liner so all the entire face actually creates one line and that's the beauty of, of this so you cover more area uh, while putting a lot of ink inside the skin so let's do this. As you can see, when I had a flat face, the 
the amount of ink which went inside is it's little, little less. So I have this flexibility whether you know uh, if I'm blending I'm going to use like a full face because I'm maybe I'm going to put some other color over this and then I'll have a nice blend of color right. So I, I can have little little angle in you know uh, different angles to have different concentration of color or pigment going inside the skin. I'm going to pull the needle little more outward and so currently it is this much I'm going to do a little more. Remember the, the amount of needle which is off it depends on the, the skin you are working on. Right now I felt like I need more based on this rubber I am working on, on real skin I will decide then. But it is normally little more than usual. So you go little deeper but not as deep that uh, as deep that you damage or cut the skin let's do another one another stroke over this all right there's a nice clean stroke now what i'm going to do is i'm going to push little So instead of 60 hertz, now I the machine is running on 90 and I'm going to do this again. So how do I go in like real time? How do I color pack? So So I'm cross hatching. And that's about I the paint brushed style of color packing and in real this color because this this is a you know thin skin with with a hard board down here if you do this on skin it it requires much lesser effort to fill it out and the color packing is such that once it is healed it doesn't lose any any saturation out of it and that is my real experience uh, I'm going to show it one more time on the other area while I use different colors so you'll get a little more idea what was happening. Let's take the red. So the machine is not like this, machine is like this, it's, it has a good angle right, I am not going like this, that will not work, you need to go little flat, not too much flat you are going to damage the skin, so let us do this. I can control the pressure right so the, the the place where I want to blend the color with other one I can re, you know release the pressure a little bit and it will deposit less amount of ink there. Can you hear the difference in the sound? That sound different is is that I am releasing the pressure. And that's why you can you know hear the sound difference. I'm gonna go a little cross hatch here. 
I'm going to cross out here. Wipe it out. Nice color packing happening here and wherever I need that you know transition I can loosen the the pressure and I get this if, if you can see here this area is quite transparent and this one is quite filled right now let's try to blend another color I'm going to change this because I'm going from the other side now. right so that's how I do the uh, color packing I mean this is this is not the only technique I use but this is very useful technique if you try if, if you get hold of this if you master this one it's gonna save you know lots of time for you so don't worry about you know how rough or clean this work is because this is on the artificial skin uh, rubber on real skin you will see me working with really soft uh, you know blends soft shades I call them butter soft shading and uh, this is the primary technique which I have used now let me talk about the you know two most uh, configurations I I'm going to use in this uh, webinar one is I'm going to keep the long stroke and go with this technique for all the color packing I'm going to you know whip it out at the end so that if I want to blend the color I will have that space where you know I have loosened the or I have released the uh, pressure of the machine and that has created a transparent layer out of this technique the another one is the color blending technique now for color blending what I'm going to do is I'm not going to shorten the stroke because I'm going to use this same machine so I'm going to keep it as it is but I'm going to you know release the or rather shorten the uh, needle depth so I'm going to keep it more inside little will come off the tube what that will do is it will reduce the punch or the impact of the hit because needle is not enough out and at the same time because it is spending a lot of time inside the tube and minimum time you know hitting the skin so I'm gonna get less hit. Uh, I'm gonna get less hits on the skin, and that helps the blending part. So for blending, what I do now, you saw this one, right? I'm, I'll show you how much I do for blending. So I, in the rest position, this is the amount of needle inside. This is the amount of needle inside the tube. 
right now at the rest position. Now if I turn it on, you see it is much lesser than what we used for the paintbrush technique. Now with this one what I do is I'm gonna quickly make the orange color. So with this I'm gonna blend it out and blending is where I go in circular motion and I play with the pressure of the hand as well. So I'm gonna do this. Now sometimes I use little higher speeds for blending because if I feel the hits are not enough I will increase the speed but so far I think this is enough for me. And this is the technique for the blending. I talked about this, I'll talk about it again. I didn't wash my needle uh, completely, right? So I wanted a color between the yellow and the orange which we used. So I just washed a little and picked up the yellow again. So that added the previous orange and the new yellow and have something in between now as stone. And obviously you will see me um, for color packing some areas I'm going to go in circular motion which is the regular technique which you have learned before and um, also I'm going to use pendulum technique for uh, shading wherever I need. So those are there but these are the new two techniques which you, you want to know. Yeah, so that's about it.